Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It's Friday, May 17th, 2024. Stocks are flat this morning. Not much movement overnight. Hopefully we get a calm day today. Yesterday had periods of chop, but also moments of big moves, small times, small period of times. So futures coming down here, the last five minutes. Fixed down one percent. So didn't like to see that. Expected move for SPX today around 19 points. So hopefully being only now it's 18.7, so. That doesn't always mean there won't be quick, big moves, but in terms of stocks, Netflix up one and a third percent, Bob up over one percent, uh, Baidu down one and a half percent, AMD up three and three quarters. GameStop down 20%. Morning, Yoga Delic. I was going to ring here in about 15 seconds. Morning, PRP. El Piero. Morning, Fast. Today, I trade this seven days to expiration, so make sure you're on the, the right one. Bell has rung. Fridays aren't my favorite day to trade, but I do <clears throat> like the 7 DTE over the 0 DTE. Tesla coming down. S&P coming down a little bit.
Morning, Vic. S P coming down a bit. So we got a couple of minutes on this bar. I think her swim is running really slow for some reason. S&P coming down. You get a new bar here in about 30 seconds. All right, get our second bar here. Several stocks pushed down there. Let's see what type of volume we get here on this Friday. AMD still up Looking for a volume bar bigger than the first and in the same direction.
Not seeing any right now in terms of big volume. Pretty low volume, actually. Don't think we're going to get any volume runners. Morning MRP. No, no volume runners out of gates, so we will just wait. Vic's really spiking up. Vix is now up a third of a percent. Oh, it's interesting. AMD is getting a big volume, but it's in an opposite direction, so we don't have anything with that. VIX went up a full point, over a full point that five minutes. I guess it wants to juice up the zero DTE strikes for or um, bid ask for us. Kind of been a weird last two to three days ever since the CPI numbers came out. VIX getting crushed. VIX now spiking. All right. Well, we'll look for some mighty 90s here. Sometimes when you get a low second bar... You'll get a mighty 90 out of it on the third bar. S&P coming down to lows. Not pre-market lows. Uh, not pre-market lows, though. Let's see if it stays green or if it turns red. S&P fighting to stay green. All 
S and P went red. Now back to green. Not seeing any mighty nineties. Pretty slim pickings on premiums in the morning, too. I just looked at SPX. So not seeing any mighty 90s. S&P pushing down, S&P futures touched pre-market lows there. Yeah, PayPal's uh, too small for me. But yeah, it is. Um, let me check. Let me check the. Yeah, it's been it's been a couple of weeks since I've looked at PayPal. Let me check. It is kind of shaping up to be a ninety ninety ninety. So let's take a peek. So, see, uh, see, seven day options aren't going to be as bad. They're going to be a little bigger. So that's not too bad. I give it a whirl. Sixty three calls and. PayPal. Build it a buck fifty one on the sixty three calls in PayPal. Good spot on the mighty 90. I would close half at a buck 65. So we'll try to look for two green bars out of PayPal, consecutive green bars. Not seeing any other mighty 90s at the moment. Oh, PayPal. Okay. Let me switch it out with something here. PayPal trying to give us one green bar.
Build it a buck sixty five. This will push up there. So we can get another push. S&P coming up just a little bit. Starbucks, oh, look at it. I don't really trade Starbucks. Yeah, it looks like a mighty 90 there in Starbucks. I would have... So you, Jump in any time now, but the high at the highest point that's be, would be where I would enter. PayPal going to give us one green bar. See if it give it give us a second green bar. Nice little push up there. I would close another PayPal at a buck eighty. Roku with a potential mighty 90 there on the, but it, it had pulled back so didn't give an opportunity to enter. Uh, MU, hmm, technically, yeah, but I don't like, I like to see a little more volume pop there. PayPal coming down. Many options, not many setups today so far.
Roku trying to push back up. That potential mighty 90, man, it's tight range. Tenth of a point. Let's take a look at Starbucks's options and see what they look like. Just out of curiosity here. So it did push back up. Man, my computer's slow today. At least my think or swim. Yeah, pretty small. Tradable. But now would be a good time to jump in Starbucks if you wanted to play that mighty 90. PayPal trying to give us a second consecutive green bar. Which I would then get out of it. Going to go ahead and close my PayPal here. Go to the buck seventy five. Come on, come on, come on. One little push. One cent. We go. Out of PayPal on a buck seventy five. Nice job, John K. Uh, don't I don't trade PLTR. It's too small. Not part of today trading stocks. Yeah, so Roku, well, Mighty 90 had come down. Get yourself back in there. Nvidia. Let's take a look here. I'd replace Starbucks with it. So I gotta type it back in here. Microsoft just bleeding lower. Yeah, Nvidia's got a little mighty 90 long. Let's take a look at those options with seven day. Imagine they're gonna be too big. Yeah. $4,400 at the money for one contract, NVIDIA. So there you go. So probably just take NVIDIA off my board by now. Netflix pushing up while Microsoft pushing down. Yeah, NVIDIA did have a mighty 90, but just too large anymore. Netflix, what's it got going on here? Holy moly. Big volume bar in the first minute. Ah, yeah, video earnings. Yeah, that would juice them up too. Let's see, what can I replace in video with here? Uh, got a coin in there. Disney, I love that. So get out in PayPal with those two consecutive green bars. You can see now it's coming down. <clears throat> That's why we exit after two.
S&P trying to go positive. It's just struggling at the moment. Struggling at the moment. Uh, no, Netflix is going to be closer to a, a volume runner. That bar is almost as big as the first. Yeah, so I'm not sure what's going on with Netflix, but this bar is just about as big as the first. There is my Goog. There it is. Yeah, potential mighty 90 in Goog. Potential mighty ninety short. See, Goog, I would trade the hey, one seventy seven point five foots. Whoa. I'm not sure what's going on with Goog. I'm just going to wait here a second before I enter. All right. Let's see if I can, well, let's see if it'll push back up. Let's see if I can get filled at like 240. Netflix still going up. I was going to try to get in there if it pulled back. Hmm. Didn't, so scratch that idea. I canceling my canceling my Goog. Should have been more aggressive on that and jumped in jumped in right away at the top. Yeah, Netflix, man, I was messing with Goog. I I was gonna try to just jump right in when this bar started. So I missed that one and I missed Goog. Hopefully you guys caught them.
What else? Man, I should have just jumped right into Netflix, darn it. That would have been a huge winner. Dang. Man, that's my bad. Monster winner would have been. If I could have jumped in right at the start of this bar. S&P pushing up a little bit. No, no. Um, Netflix was a volume runner. Had this big bar right here that was bigger than the first. Got a little bit of a reversal here with S&P now trying to push back up. Netflix now up a little over 2%. Yeah, just change colors to red. Yoga Delic. No. no movement in it either. It's how tight the range that is. If Netflix comes down here a little bit, might jump in a little long here on the 630 calls. So it's 670. All right, so... I was aggressive on that one. Let's just see if it pays off or not. It went up all the way to 626. So had about three bar pullback. S&P now coming back down. I would prefer, we don't need like four to five point moves when the VIX is this low in, in one five minute bar. I would prefer that it doesn't happen. Man, Baba just going straight up after pushing down. Netflix pulling back. So could have got a, you could have got a better fill than I did. AMD coming down. S&P went red again. PayPal pushing up. Oh, yeah, good question, Vic. I didn't announce that yet. So 670. I have an order in at 740. Rounded up to 70 cents, be 
Yeah, see, Roku has those mighty nineties according to volume, but that's that's you know that's only one part of the trade. The other part of before you put it in is does it meet the 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 criteria with uh, the price action? So that price action is not conducive to a mighty ninety. S and P falling, unfortunately, coming all the way down through lows. Wow. Man, don't tell me it's going to be another one of these days. I was really hoping we wouldn't see like this big. I mean, I say big, it's not huge. It's a five point pullback. But when, when premiums are so small, it, it, it is definitely something that's um, significant. Tesla trying to push up the highs of day. Netflix not cooperating. It's getting a, its biggest red bar of the morning. I gotta decide if I want to add to it here. I'll add to it. Let's see if I can add to it here. Five ninety. Filled it. Filled it. Five eighty five. Add to Netflix. I have a close half at 670, which is my original fill. I may lower that, see what happens here. Or I may just bail on it because it's going to. So the the exit point would be right here. Actually, it's on the big bar, so it would be right here. But that would, that would really hurt if it gets down that low. S&P appearing to come down through lows of day. So we might be getting a little bloody. Here goes. She's a fallen. Actually, futures are coming down to pre-market. No, not pre-market. It's coming down to lows of day. Futures are. We'll see if it bounces off lows of day. Yeah, Baba Mighty 90 short. The reason I, I'm not going to get in that one, though, it, it may work, but that many green bars in a row, something's going on pushing up like that. So I'm not sure what's going on with Baba. Airbnb has too wide of bid ask to do these strategies with. Things have kind of slowed down a little bit. Goog is holding on, not pulling back at all. Could be a potential continuation runner. See how it's pushed up. 
hasn't given two red bars for that mighty 90 yet. I thought I missed it, but it's now pushed up again. PayPal through eyes of day. Man, a lot of stocks pushing up here. Really, the S&P. Look at Baba. See, that's there, there you go, John K. There's just something going on with Baba when you see something like how it comes straight up like that. Something's going on with it. I like to see Netflix do that. Definitely love to see Netflix do that. Looks like we've experienced a little fate of decay for some reason. Good pushing up to highs of day through highs. Pretty much chop out of the S&P. Just hope that's what it does all day. Uh, my fill on Netflix, Amir, was 585. Well, 670 and then 585. I added it 585. Good pushing up. Had it at five fifty yoga delic. Nice. Could probably get ready to close half. Now, see Netflix push up through highs like all these other stocks are doing. Tesla was through highs of day on that last one. Last five minute bar. Need Netflix to cooperate here. Look at Goose still going. Come on, Netflix. Bob is still going. Oh, man. God, I didn't get in front of that train. Sheesh. That's a bummer. I was hoping to get out of half my Netflix there. Well, for TLC, it's been pretty choppy, really. I don't know if we're going to get a morning push or not. <laughs> Baba. Rising to the top. Come on, Netflix. Volume runner, I want you to pull back and then take off.
Tesla pushing through highs of day. Bob is still going straight up. That's what like Tesla used to do, man. Back in the day. Come on, Netflix. It's time. It's time to go. Oh, man. Netflix keeps teasing us. Like it's going to go, and then it just doesn't. Now I get a new bar here. Um, square pushing up. Potential mighty 90. Squares options like nowadays. See a PRP. And that squares not bad. If you wanted to get in a, in the square, a good spot to get in would be. Right at the top. Let's pull back just a little bit. If it, if it pops back uh, up again, I'm going to try to focus on TLC now. As it appears that price is pretty choppy. All right, so Netflix still holding it. I'd love to see a push up here. I'm going to stay on here until I <clears throat> see what happens with Netflix, but she's not going not gonna to take any more Mighty 90s or Runners. Come on, Netflix, never, you know, it's better late than never. Tesla pushing up, PayPal through highs of day, Square through highs of day. I don't, I don't understand it. I mean, the one stock we get on in on is one of the strongest. Of It's the strongest, one of the strongest, and it can't push up to where it's already been. while other stocks are blowing through highs of day. Incredible. Pretty nice push up in S&P right now. Well, Netflix, I'm going to continue to hold it if it comes down below this where it bounced 
then I will cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. If it goes up, I'll scale out. So, all right, guys, I'll see everybody during Power Hour. Have a good one today. Peace.